Welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. Sometimes a patient room will have a small room between it and the corridor. This room is known as an anteroom, and it serves as one of the infection prevention layers to help protect patients, staff, and others in the hospital. Anterooms are only required by the building code in specific situations. They are most commonly seen with Airborne Infection Isolation Rooms, or AIIRs, which are reserved for patients suspected of having a possible airborne virus, protective environment rooms, which are reserved for immunocompromised patients, such as bone marrow transplant patients, or for rooms that are a combination of these two types of rooms to provide flexibility. The way that air flows through the anteroom will depend on how the room was designed, so it is important to know which directions the air is flowing between the corridor and the anteroom and between the patient room and the anteroom in order to use these rooms safely. Hospitals usually have only a few of these patient rooms with an anteroom permanently attached. So if the hospital needs more rooms to accommodate patients with airborne infections, the facility's management team must create these spaces. Normal patient rooms do not require negative pressure, and it can be very difficult to meet the building code's ventilation and airflow requirements when converting a patient room to an airborne infection isolation room because a hospital's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC infrastructure, is designed and constructed based on specifics. And changing the airflow in one room can have a ripple effect on the other room served by that same air handling unit. One of the fastest ways to accommodate more patients with airborne infections is to create a temporary anteroom out of modular, reusable containment walls and connect a portable, high-efficiency particulate air, or HEPA machine, to one of the walls of the anteroom. The HEPA machine causes the anteroom to become negative pressure by pulling air from the patient room and corridor into the anteroom, preventing the infection from spreading through the hospital. This same process can sometimes be used to create an anteroom for an airborne isolation ward, where an anteroom is built between the ward and the rest of the hospital. The HEPA machine then cleans the air by removing 99.97% of airborne contaminants before recirculating it back into the hospital. If you need additional airborne infection isolation rooms, ask your facilities team what the options are for your hospital.